Hey everyone, this is Paulo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make elites like the ones in the track X-Ray by Subfocus. So this is the original track. And this is the lead that we're going to be making. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so before we get started with the video, these are the notes that we're going to be playing. Now let's get into Serum. Okay, so now here in Serum, the first thing that you would think when you hear the sound is, oh, that's just a saw wave being tuned. So, you would assume that you can just put Unison here like five voices and that's the sound basically but if we play it against the reference there's a very important difference in this sound and that happens in its unison the way the unison in the original track is built is not with voices that are spread evenly in terms of tuning and stereo is actually a much more simpler mode of unison which you will get if you get a saw with like this one played together with another saw with but with the random face all the way down and with the fine tuning of one of these voices minus 50 cents so now that's basically the tone of the original tune now that remakes the unison of the original track, which is really cool. They show me the principle that if you want to create more unique sounds, maybe instead of just using the regular unison, try to craft your own mode of unison by manually detuning your own oscillators. Now I know Serum has some limitations because it has less oscillators, but in something like Faceplant, you can get really creative with these unisons. And also keep in mind that different synths have different modes of unison. For example, here Serum has linear, super, exponential, inverted and random so that's just a cool little tip about the unison that i learned with the sound cool so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn on a chorus in the effects bring this mix down and change this into a high pass filter next we're going to turn on a multiband compressor boost the gain boost some of the mids and then we're going to add some reverb And now to get the thin timbre of the original lead, we're just going to use EQing. Here you can just experiment with the tone that gives you the one that is closest to the track. For example, I can hear a very cool boost around the 1K area but also there's a little bit of a notch before that. So here it's all about fine tuning as you can see, but also it's a very cool sound to learn the importance that unison modes have in your leads. So that's going to be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.